Hi, it's James William Ward here. Today I'm going to be giving you a video on how to negotiate and I'm going to be giving you my top three ideas from this book, Negotiation by Gavin Pressman, How to Craft Agreements that Give Everyone More. If you want to get the most out of every negotiation you have, every agreement that you strike with people, listen to this video all the way to the end because I've got some great ideas that I think can really help you out. We should go into any kind of agreement, any sort of negotiation that we're going to have, viewing it with the possibility that by collaborating we can create more than we can by working just to fulfill our own needs. So idea number one is to prepare mentally. So what does it mean to prepare mentally? Before you go into a negotiation, it's really important to get a good idea of what the other person is thinking and feeling and to understand their perspective. One way to do this is to use the four P's and they are what is the person who I'm going to be meeting with, what is their past? What happened in their past? What's gone on in their past that's going to affect the negotiation that we're about to have? What experiences might they have had that's going to affect their opinions going into this and affect the things that they're going to want? So what's in their past? So number two is preferences. What do they like? What is important to them? Number three is prejudices. With this person, what specifically don't they like? What is it that they really want to get away from? You know, and how is that going to inform the negotiation you're going to have? If you know that they really dislike certain kinds of attitudes, certain kinds of behaviours, or they really want to avoid a particular circumstance or situation, this is going to be such useful information going into that negotiation. Um, and number four is personality. What are they like? What is this person like? You know, are they an extrovert person? Are they an introvert person? Um, you know, what kind of personality do, do they have? So, you know, you're going to need to adjust your approach based on their personality. So, ask yourself these four questions. You know, the person you're going to be meeting, the, the person you're going to be negotiating with, what is their past? What are their preferences? What do they like? What are their prejudices? What don't they like? And what is their personality? What are they like? Ask yourself these questions about the person you're going to be meeting and this can really fill out a vivid picture of that person. So once you've asked yourself these questions, you know what the four P's are, ask yourself how can all this information help me to better craft an agreement between me and this other person? It's amazing when you start going through these four P's and you really look at all these aspects of the person that you're going to be meeting with, you realise that certain things are going to be particularly important to them, which maybe you didn't realise before. And in the conversation you can really add emphasis onto the things that matter most to them. Idea number two is variables, the hunt for creative options. Before you go into a negotiation, start thinking creatively. The variables are those things which you can offer the person you're going to be speaking to, which might be of high value to them, but will be of low value to you. So it could be something that you could offer which isn't necessarily on the table. It's not necessarily in the agreement initially at all. But when you start thinking creatively and once you've gone through that initial step of understanding what they want and who they are, you can start thinking about other things you can offer them which weren't even in the agreement initially to start with. And these can be things which for you to carry out might be of little or no cost at all but to them it's going to make a huge difference. So outline what these are, then write down a list of all the possible variables. Just brainstorm, you know, just list everything you could possibly think of that could potentially be useful to them or valuable to them. Gavin Pressman calls this a shopping list. So once you've got that shopping list, you're going to be well prepared to have lots of other things that you can put on the table that you can potentially offer in that negotiation. Then, once you've done that from your perspective, imagine yourself shifting into the perspective of the other person. Another section in this book, Gavin Pressman talks about, it's an NLP technique basically, and you're viewing, you're changing your perspective and you're viewing your perspective through the eyes of the other person. And you can really spend some time on this, right? Like, close your eyes, imagine going into the meeting with yourself but seeing it from the perspective of the other person and really flesh out all the ideas and thoughts and the preferences that they are going to have. 
Once you've done that, once you've done that process, then you want to create a list of all the things that they could offer you, which are going to be low cost to them, but might be a high value to you. This can be incredibly valuable because you might realize that you could craft an agreement which is way better than you initially expected and at very little cost to the other person. Because you could be in very different situations, they could offer you something which could be incredibly valuable to you, which doesn't really affect them that much, which is of little cost to them, and it creates an agreement which is really going to work out well for both of you. Idea number three is self-awareness. When we're having a conversation with someone, particularly if it's a challenging conversation, it's very easy to start believing that what the other person is saying to us is the direct cause of our feelings. So if they say something, then we feel negative or upset. We believe that they have caused us to feel that way. The difference here is that rather than seeing the other person as the cause of our feelings, we recognize that our own thinking about the situation is the cause of our feelings. And this is a classic idea, right? Like all mindfulness and meditation is based on the idea of becoming less reactive to our circumstance, to our environment, rather than viewing the circumstance as being as an effect on us and making us feel that way, we realize that it's our response to the environment. And I think this is so valuable in terms of negotiation because it's at those moments where someone says something, our emotions spike and then we get slightly defensive and from that point on a negotiation or a discussion of any kind can just go downhill. Whereas if we allow ourselves to take a step back, we can feel that emotion, then we can objectively move back from it. We can still allow ourselves to think creatively, to be collaborative, and we're not gonna fall into that emotional game of, of winning and losing. With this in mind, it's really important to arrange the negotiation at a time when you can feel calm, when you can feel in control. You don't wanna be going into that situation when your adrenaline and testosterone is already really spiked. You know, you want to go into it at a time when you feel nice and calm, in control, and you're in a good, happy state of mind. So, top three ideas is number one, prepare mentally. Use the four Ps to find out more information about the person you're going to be meeting with. Uh, number two is variables. So go through the list of things that you can offer that other person that are of low cost to you, but of high value to the other person, and then flip it around. So write a list of all the things they can offer you, which are gonna be great for you, but isn't gonna cost them very much. And idea number three is self-awareness. Develop that control over your own emotions and that awareness of your own thinking being the cause of your emotions as opposed to the circumstances, as opposed to what the person is saying to you. Right, that is it for this video. So do click subscribe, turn on notifications because I'll be uploading a new video every single week. Let me know what you thought, do leave me a comment and until next time, keep living life and love learning. Bye bye.